What's going on there guys? Earthmaster here on the live stream on this Monday evening, October 25th, 2021. Almost 5 p.m. California time. And got an earthquake coming into the seismograph stations here. Just came in from outside, so I'm kind of a little out of breath. Ran a little bit. This is coming off of a pretty good sized earthquake in the Southern California region. A 4.7 earthquake just struck the Southern California area. Go ahead and check out some specifics here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Nothing like a fresh run in the winter air. There is the earthquakes that I'm talking about here. 4.7 near San Simon. Five kilometers for that 4.7. That was quickly followed up by a 3.6 earthquake. Uh, pretty good size earthquake for the Southern California region. In fact, uh, quite a few folks did report feeling it in the area along highway one along the coastal area five kilometers below surface like i mentioned it is in an area where we see uh, typical earthquake activity but it's been a while since we've seen some movement uh, within this region but nonetheless they do get some uh, sizable earthquakes down there looks like possibly five to 6.0 earthquakes uh, within the vicinity of this epicenter that uh where this 4.7 just struck. Looking at uh, the aftershock so far, there is a 3.6 earthquake um, that has followed that 4.7. Um, just looks like a few seconds after afterwards. We have noticed, I noticed within the past couple nights or so, an increase in earthquake activity in the Southern California region. Uh, you can see quite a bit of movement around the San Andreas Fault System down south and the San Jacinto Fault area, all showing some heightened earthquake activity. So increase in pressure along the west coast for sure. Northern California, pretty much Sacramento northward, has been in the clear far as pressure goes. It's been relatively quiet, but uh, uh, to the south here, we've definitely seen some movement over the past couple days. And uh, this does not shock me. Uh, 4.7 striking this area. I would definitely be on guard in the Southern California region for a potential larger scale movement. Uh, these could possibly, not 100% not certain, but these could be some foreshocks that are kicking up in this region. Looks like it's right around the San Simon fault zone. And as I mentioned, this area is capable of producing some uh, sizable earthquakes. It is a somewhat lengthy fault system. It is just to the west of the San Andreas Fault Zone. That's this darker red line here, the plate boundary of the North American and Pacific Plate. Let's see what we got far as felt reports here. Uh, did you fill out responses around the vicinity? Soledad, Salinas, Santa Cruz, San Luis Obispo. Uh, let's see here. Santa Maria. All areas up and down the coastline. Looks like quite a few folks uh, reported filling that earthquake that struck just a short time ago so uh, be on guard folks a lot of movement you can see that significantly showing up on the seismograph stations here uh, mammoth lakes um, and areas around the vicinity i'm not for sure why russia that that might be an independent earthquake there in the russia area it's got to be uh, but the petrolia station looks like uh, it may have picked it up in northern california so uh just a heads up, folks. A little bit of rocking and rolling in Southern California area. Be on guard for some possible further movement following this earthquake activity in the uh, California region. We'll be back a little bit later on this evening with an update video, folks. So thanks for checking in. Uh, we will chat you guys in. Peace out. Also, you know what? Let me let me know if you guys are in that area. Um, if you may have felt this earthquake and what it felt like uh, looking at this the graph here. You can see pretty much two distinct earthquakes there. One, the first one, the four-pointer, and then the three-pointer shortly afterwards. So uh, definitely two earthquakes. And I want to show you guys also on the Petrolia station that's coming around the bend um, how you can pretty much discover that it was two earthquakes as well on that station. Petrolia is a station in Northern California. That's going to be the station right here near Eureka. You can see two distinct marks here on the seismograph station indicating two earthquakes. Of course, the first one, larger one, uh, the 4.7, and then the 3.6 afterwards. But uh, definitely showing up pretty nicely as well on the Long Valley Supervolcano area near Mammoth Lakes. 
We will chat you guys a little bit later, folks. Stay safe out there and be prepared.